If you want to steal cues from your opponents without playing your own cards, well then this is the list for you. What's going on guys? My name is Zach Rizal, back with a brand new Marvel Snap video. Hope you're all doing fantastic. On this amazing Saturday, we have a fun list here. Now, Zal Snap just turned four months old a few days ago, and the first video we ever did on the channel was a Loki deck guide. So to celebrate a happy little birthday, we're doing another Loki deck guide right now, but then brand new and updated, the next gen Loki. And it is so much fun. I love Loki, I always will. So if you don't know, on reveal, transform your hand into the cards from your opponent's starting deck and give them minus one cost so for example if our opponent's running a tribunal list we get that tribunal that onslaught that mystique all from a negative cost cheaper just one right so that tribunal is five your onslaught's five your mystique is two your iron man's four etc etc which is good all in itself but on turn one or before we throw the Loki down on turn four, if we can get the Quinjet down, cards that didn't start in our deck cost one less. So that's negative two cost for all the cards that we Loki. That means your onslaught is now a four cost. Your Tribunal's a four cost, your Mystique's a one cost, your Iron Man's a three cost, and that's what makes this deck so incredible. You can do everything your opponent can, but better because everything is so much cheaper. And then that that is basically the main, that's what you wanna do. You wanna get the Loki out there, you wanna have a maximum Loki value, right? So you wanna have a full hand, seven cards exactly, when you throw down Loki. Sometimes it's hard to do that, at least six, so you can Loki on four, you want six cards in your hand to get maximum, maximum value. And then the whole list supports that line. So we have Snow Guard who has the bear and the hawk to our hand, and they both have unique abilities that are very, very good. Maybe just in case we don't even hit the Loki, we can turn off locations for a turn, or we can even activate them for one turn with the bear, which makes it super, super good. We have the Zabu. We have a couple four costs in Miss Marvel, Loki, and Shang-Chi. We really aren't gonna throw that Loki down on three. Rarely we'll ever do that. We usually save that to four, but if we don't draw the Loki, we have the Miss Marvel and Shang-Chi to be discounted by Zabu. We have the cable to, again, help us get that maximum value for Loki. Get another card into our hand, get this out early so we can have that full six cards in our hand for Loki. We have the rogue, just to steal any ongoing abilities. Can really mess up uh, your tribunal that we always talk about. You can really mess that up if you steal an Iron Man or an Onslaught, or we can take a Miss Marvel, anything like that. Really, really, really strong tech card. We have Mobius. Everybody is running some type of discount, whether it's Sarah, Zabu, or Ravona. We have the Mobius to stop all that. And then plus, our cards can't be increased in cost, nor can our opponents be lowered. So it's fantastic. We have the Coulson, again, to help us get that maximum Loki value. But again, if we don't get that Loki, for example, like we get the Cable, we can steal a card from our opponent, then we get the two random cards from Coulson. We have the Quinjet to make them cheaper, and we can play them out to, again, help our Mockingbird, which is going to be super valuable. There's a Shang-Chi. Miss Marvel, we talked about that card so many times. There's the big hitter in Loki, and then we have the brand new Mockingbird, right? So, actually, what we really want to happen is if we get that Quinjet down, we get the maximum Loki value on four, and then we draw into our Mockingbird. Every card we play from that point on didn't start in our deck, and so it is so, so easy to get a free Mockingbird. It's actually ridiculously easy, and then we can just end it all off with a Lithe, because who doesn't want to end it off with a win with a Lithe? That is literally the whole list. You throw down your Loki on four, you make sure you have maximum value, you have the Quinjet down, and then you just play your opponent's cards, but do it better. Now, this list does take some time to learn. It is very difficult. It is sometimes strange. The play lines are not very, very clear all the time. But with practice and just repetition, you'll be a Loki master in no time. So with that being said, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Do all that fine jazz makes us the happiest guy in the world. As we always say here at Zal Snap, and I appreciate every single one of you for watching. Happy four months and snap out. And also, bring back Chavez on six, please. All right, so we're into a game here real quick, real fast. Our opponent threw down a Nova, and we have the Snow Guard. This is an excellent start for us anyway. We have the Loki in hand. If we can just get the Quinjet down, we're looking really good. Really, really good. All right, so we get the Mobius. Zabu wouldn't be bad here. We could Zabu now. And then we can Cable next turn. We'll have six cards in our hand, five after Loki. Yeah, no, we'll just Cable now. We've done a little bit of Cable action. They skipped this turn. Should we take one of their cards? Absorbing, man. Okay, all right. Let's see what we get here. There's more cards here. Okay, so now we didn't get the Quinjet, unfortunately, which kind of hurts. But we'll just throw down the Zabu now into the Loki. Um, and then we just go from there. We are going to draw. Hopefully, we don't draw our Mockingbird right now. Okay, there's the Hope Summers. We get the Colson. Yeah, okay. So we didn't draw the Mockingbird. So we still have the Mockingbird in our deck, which is going to be really, really useful when it comes to this Loki. Because we can throw down all these cards we get from Loki that will also count the discount Mockingbird. So we love that, right? We love that. Okay, so it's a surfer list. It's a surfer list. We didn't get many things that 
would help us too much. We need to draw into, hopefully they run a Shang-Chi. Turn five here, we're not gonna be able to retreat. There's the Quinjet. So there's gonna be a Killmonger around here somewhere and we do have priority, which is great. So we're gonna Cosmo. Um, and then we'll throw it on the Quinjet because I would assume they're gonna Killmonger on the right and with priority, this will help us a ton. So we'll just, we'll just hit a Cosmo on the right. We'll Quinjet on the left. Let's see what they do here. And we'll keep retreat. So they're the one card on the right, one card on the left. Let's just pray that that Killmonger... So it's the docking. Okay, that's good for us. That's really, really good for us. No docking value there at all. Um, so now we just need to throw down some big cards. And there's our Mockingbird, which is only a three cost. Okay, this is great. This is great. So we'll do this. And then Black Swan is usually through. Okay, so that's great too. So we can do this as well. We'll do this. So then that Spider-Man always goes to the right. And then we'll just Surfer. Hit all these three costs. I like this. I think this is how we win this game here. They throw down one card in the middle. It's a Shaw. There's the Killmonger. Gets rid of a big chunk of our cards. But we won the right. We did win the right. Let's see. There's the Mockingbird. There's the Black Swan. Okay, so Spider-Man goes over to the right. And if it's a breaker, we should be okay. There's a Surfer. It's a breaker. Oh, we just stuck that one. Let's go. Yeah, perfect. Low-key value. See, everything was so cheap. We just did everything way better. And not to mention, Mojo World really, really helped us out. So there's some Loki. All right, so we're into another game here real quick, real fast. We did throw down the Kamar Taj with the cable. We took their armor and their Taskmaster. They don't know that. And so they have a Nebula down on the right. Um, here, I would love the Loki next turn if we were to draw it. And if that's the case, then we definitely want to Quinjet now. But we don't know that for sure. And we don't know if they have any cost reduction stuff. So we'll throw down the Quinjet now just in case, right? Let's hope we draw into this Loki and we get the maximum Loki value. We don't. That's okay. Um, I guess now we can... Snow Guard on the left, and then we'll Mobius on right here. Get ready for this little Miss Marvel boost. Hopefully that we get the Miss Marvel. That'd be great. Um, Taskmaster is a little rough here. We don't really have anything for Taskmaster. And we do a full hand. See, that's a, that's a thing you have to say. So that's a little mistake, right? I shouldn't have played the Snow Guard necessarily because now we're not going to get a draw, right? So we just have to pay attention to those kind of things. Like I said, it just takes repetition. I still even make some mistakes. So, so we do have priority, uh, which is fantastic. We'll Snow Guard. In the middle just so they get no on reveal a bonus or buffs or anything like that um i would like to armor but if i'm gonna armor it'd be right and i think that's our play hopefully i think we'll take power we'll still have priority man no matter what which hurts for the shang chi but it does help with the alive so let's see here there is the armor we are at eight power on the right there's the kitty kitty's gonna bounce back up there's a the shuri Okay, so if we can somehow manage to get a lithe, which we always do. Okay, no, <laughs> maybe not. That's all right. So we have priority. And so we're going to see, we have to fight for the outside locations. So if we're going to fight for the outside locations. It would have to be like... That with with this that's the only play we have i mean we are putting up a lot of power especially on the left just nervous about the right but we that's the only plays we have we don't really have anything else the taskmaster is kind of useless uh they play one card on left one in the middle here let's see so there is a 24 powered magneto and then what's this on the other side that's gonna be kitty on the left side isn't it there's the kitty, but that's not enough. We just got away with that one too. You don't even need the Loki to run Loki. We still have a great deck nonetheless in Mockingbird, Snowguard, Armor, Quinjet, all those guys. <laughs> Another great game. All right, so we're into a game here real quick, real fast. We do have the Quinjet. We got some Quinjet action, and then we're going to Snowguard on top of it. We get a little extra little draw here. Nice. And we get the Loki. This is great. Okay, so this is where we talk about maximum value, right? So we have six cards in our hand. We have six cards. Um, we can't Loki now, right? 
we can't Loki now. So we just need something out there for power at this point. I would just like to have power out there. So whether that's Coulson, it's just gonna be Coulson right here because then we can also stop the draw, right? By throwing down Coulson now, we stop drawing cards, which allows us to draw into our Shang-Chi and or Mockingbird, which is really, really what we want. There's a thing, a nice little thing. Okay, so now we'll just throw down the Loki. Um, and so we have the six cards. This is pretty much maximum value. Unless you somehow can get like Elysium or something like that, you can throw down a Snow Guard and a Loki. It's almost impossible to get that full seven value. But maximum value is seriously the six cards. And so now we're going to get the minus one cost from Loki. We're going to get the minus one cost from Quinjet. We're looking great. We're looking really good. So let's see what we get. Vision, Elsa, Shang-Chi, Doom. Okay, so we know exactly what lists are running here. It's the kitty list um, with Elsa and everything like that. So we know exactly what's going down here. And there's the Zabu. Um, I think we're going to just uh, pump up this Vision a little bit. And then we'll start getting this kitty going. Um, and even if we don't take priority, that's okay. We have a Shang-Chi, so I'm not too worried about it. So there's our 10 power vision. I'm assuming they're probably doing the exact same thing. There, there, there's vision right there. But his moves over to the right. Okay. And there's the kitty. All right. And so we could try to do a little soul read action with the uh, Shang-Chi. But that could be... We have no one call. Well, they could do that. And then we can do... It wouldn't be that bad. It honestly wouldn't be bad at all. So uh, we're, they're probably going to throw it in their Shang-Chi on left, if I had to assume. So we can do this. We can do this and this. That protects us a little bit. Um, and then we can Shang-Chi their vision in the middle. Or we go for a quick little 410 Doctor Doom. But it's going to get destroyed by Warrior Falls. Um... Yeah, I think we do this. I think I like this. Um, and then we can just throw down the cable. But Elsa's going to get a little buff too. Yeah, I like this. They move the vision, so we miss. We struck out. We totally struck out in the middle here. <laughs> but we do have a lot of power on the right. Let's see. There's our little cable. They have the beat 13 power on the right. Let's see what they threw down. There is a doom. So now they need eight power on the right they don't get away with it and we just snuck by loki there you go i mean you just saw the incredible value from loki taking their cards doing it better loki baby all right so we're into a game here real quick real fast our opponent did on the okoye on the left we threw in a cable on the right which gave us a 10 powered mockingbird which is excellent uh so here we're just gonna throw down the mobius we don't really have any other play here um i don't even know if i want to loki here if i'm being honest we have such a great hand there's the quinjet which is going to discount our mockingbird um we don't really have another play nothing for nothing for ongoings with rogue shang chi just not yet yeah we're just gonna have to throw down the quinjet um and we'll throw the quinjet down on the right here just to prepare for this miss marvel there's the nakia okay so it seems to be a surfer list if i had to assume we got a little surfer action here okay so our wong is also three costs there's a miss marvel opponent has six energy um so they get thrown on a big card here. I think we're just going to... I think we're just going to Mockingbird here on the right. They don't play mid... Okay, so we do take priority, which is good when it comes to a Lyoth, right? We do take the priority. Um, we're looking a little rough here because they can move cards to wherever they want. And we have no energy reduction cards. Um, and so what do we just like a lie in the do, do we just do we just move everything over to the left and then a lie the middle and cross our fingers i think that's what we do that's what, I mean, that's what we always do we don't really have any other option we could have missed marbled and then snow guard but i think this is our best play here right this is always our best play so let's let's see all right, so our opponent plays one card on the left two in the middle so we did guess right with the lieth um Let's, let's, what's this? It's a Chavez. Well, that's not enough. You know, not the most highest quality gameplay, but Elias does get the job done. There you go. There's some Loki action. 